I am going to explain about 3 to 8 decoder using VHDL code. If you want to get my future videos, subscribe my channel. Coming to the decoder, decoder means it is an N input lines to 2 power N output lines. For example, if N value is 3, means 3 input lines to 2 power 3 is equal 8 output lines. So that's why it is 3 to 8 decoder. 3 to 8 decoder we need to design. And actual decoder means it is converted into encoding form is converted into original form. That is the decoder. We know that the encoding means that is one form is converted into another form. So this for example this is encoded to 101. So this then original message is converted into encoded encoded so this encoded message again is converted into our original form 10011 so this is the original decoder meaning so coming to the circuit you can see this 3 to 8 decoder is having three inputs and there are eight output lines so when 000 so we need to get this when 001 we need to get 01 like this we need to get output this is the logic circuit of course uh, in our uh, program we are using 3 uh, g1 g2 3 enable signals for our convenient so here you can see this a is an input 2 down to 0 so there are 8 possible inputs are there so these are the enable signals g g1 g2 and y is an output so this is the logic we know that uh, when 0 0 0 I am assuming I am assuming here I need to get S is equal 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 when 0 0 1 we need to get 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 like this otherwise in the last uh, you can see this otherwise we need to get if you are not giving anything uh, so we need to get uh, this one so that is equal this one y equal all should be ones that is the condition that's why we are going for three enables so coming to the execution just open the Xilinx tool go to file go to file new project I am giving uh, any name uh, decoder finish so here uh, we need to give one name any name uh, we can give it so I am giving DSD right click new source select VHDL module DSD click on next here we need to give the inputs or else directly also we can go so we can see this otherwise A G G1 G2 are the inputs Y is an output A a input and that is 2 down to 0 you can see this 2 down to 0 so means 8 inputs lines are there g1 g2 g2 y is 7 down to 0 outputs y is 7 down to 0 is an out 7 down to 0 means 8 and uh, one more is there z1 z G, G1, these are the enables, C2. So these are the inputs only, single bits. So that's it. Then click on next. You can see this again if you want. So G, G1, G2 are the inputs and Y is an output, 7 down to 0. So then click on next. Finish. So this is our required code. Now we need to write the code logic. So I am writing here. So otherwise I am copying here. Copy. Copy. Yes. So then save it. And go for synthesize XST. So check syntax and then we need to go for uh, view RTL schematic 
So this is the first part, implementation part, then successfully completed, uh, go for RTL schematic, then we need to go for simulation, after schematic, we need to go for simulation, yes we need to, we can go with any option, either with the first one or second, op, second one, add, create schematic so this is our required schematic then go for simulation i am going left side simulation click on this i sim simulator check behavioral check syntax then simulate behavioral model so it will take some time then you will get like this then we need to mention what are the inputs so for that yeah click on 000, force constant, that is first 1, 2, 3, 000, apply, ok, then G, enable is 1, force constant, enable is 1, apply, ok, G1, G1, force constant, 0, because not get you have given there, 0 we need to give it here ok and g2 also not get we are using force constant 0 we need to give 0 apply ok you can see this if you want in the program if you want you can see this so here when uh, g and not g1 not g2 then we need to go for this option so that's why we have given like that then run all and click here yeah you can see this when 0 0 0 we need to get uh, the output is 0 all ones this is a option this is the option we are getting I am giving 0 0 1 again I am giving 0 0 1 again input is force constant giving 0 0 1 apply ok then g1 is 1 g is 1 force constant g is 1 click on ok apply ok and g1 is 0 g2 is 0 force constant 0 apply ok g2 is 0 force constant 0 apply ok again run all run all Yes, you can see when you are giving uh, 0, 0, 001, we need to get 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we are getting like this. If you want, you can see this program. Like this, we can design our required uh, 3 to 8 decoder. If you have any suggestions or doubts, you can send to me. Thank you.